Blessings. We are Charmin speaking to you from our starships. We say speaking to you from our starships as there are many of them now that maintain a constant connection with Gaia within the higher fourth and fifth dimensional versions of her reality that are now surrounding Earth. Humans have adapted a belief, or is it a prejudice, that only third dimensional humans are alive. Also, everything else goes under the category of nature, as if humans' category was more important than the category of nature. The fact is that nature could and did survive and thrive much better before humans became civilized. In reality, the non-civilized humans were much more in tune with and in cohesion with nature than what has been called as the modern man. The modern man has created untold damage and destruction to all forms of nature, trees, mountains, animals, fish, birds, insects, as well as the cycles of unity with all life that begin at the birth of any of the elements of nature and continue to include the entire planet. It is the now for humanity to remember what they innately do as children, but forgot as they grew up, which is everything is alive. Even the things that human use in their daily life are surrounded by the living auras of every being that has ever touched them. Do you know that you leave the fingerprint of your energy field on everything or person that you ever touch? As long as one is ignorant of that fact, they can behave as if they do not have that power. However, you all do, and all, every human, affects your reality with a single touch, thought, emotion, and or interaction. That is why humans were once called the keepers of the land. But to an alarming extent, humanity did not keep the land. Instead, they destroyed it. In fact, humanity also destroyed the air, which diminished the sun's power to transmute your reality. Instead of transmuting Earth into a higher frequency, the great beings of the sun needed to heal the harms that humanity had inflicted on Gaia. Humanity has tainted the water which is vital for all life to grow into its strongest potential, treated the earth element as if it were quote unquote dirt, and created so much smog that many of the sun's higher rays of light have been screened out. Furthermore, humans have tainted the water with the waste material from the things that they create. But now, that era is ending. Now Mother Gaia is to be recognized as the home that every one of her children were born on to protect and maintain. But first, her children need to grow up into responsible adults. Within this now, a new era is dawning. This is the era where humanity will learn to seek in rather than to seek above. They will no longer have a invisible God who is somewhere up in the sky. In fact, up in the very sky that humanity tainted by choosing profit over ecology. The pathway to God is not determined by the physical destinations of up, over, around, or under. God is within each and every human even the ones who have fallen into or been forced into darkness, such as children of the Illuminati. 
Each and every human is a portal through which, quote, heaven can manifest on earth. But what is heaven? Heaven is the freedom of the combined qualities of wisdom, power, and love. These are the qualities that humanity is returning to as they re-embrace their fifth dimensional and above expressions of infinite wisdom, multidimensional power, and unconditional love. Where do I find these qualities, many ask? The answer is, you find these qualities within your own earth vessel, within your own high heart, which will assist you to connect your earth vessel self into your own fully awakened light body self, which is within your own physical body self. How do you make this connection, you ask? The answer is that you were born with that connection. However, the hardships and challenges of a third dimensional life made you forget. You also forgot because of safety issues. Those who remembered and tried to share the truth were often taunted, ignored, harmed, or even killed. But that experience is coming to a conclusion. When the third dimension was a primary dimension of habitation, the polarities of such a low frequency created separation and limitation from your own self and from the planet on which your earth vessel was born. You chose to take a vessel of the same frequency and elements as Earth to assist with Gaia's planetary ascension. Many humans talk about personal ascension, but you are already ascended in that you live in the higher dimensions with the forms that resonates to the frequency of each of those dimensions. For aeons, you, humanity, came to Earth again and again to heal the wounds that you left on Gaia's Earth. In her air and water, as well as her land. Because you had not cleaned up your room, you could not play in the fifth dimension until you had completed the cycle of your third dimensional life by transmuting all the residue of all your third, fourth dimensional incarnations on earth. Unfortunately, you could not clear your incarnational residue until you were awake enough in your physical form to call on your innate multidimensional qualities to do on earth what you had promised to do for earth before you took your earth vessel. Most of you got lost in the allure of individuality. Therefore, you forgot that individuality was not a toy to play with. Individuality was and is a focus point. Individuality is the tip of a pen through which you write your individual statements. The focus point of what you see, hear, smell, and touch, and therefore you perceive as your reality. However, each individually has their own reality, their own personal experience of life in the third dimension. However, once landed in that third dimensional expression of reality, you are bound to the laws of cause and effect that govern that frequency. Just as a hiker needs to pack out their trash, in order for you to exit your third dimensional experience, you need to collect your quote trash, put it into your backpack and leave Gaia exactly as you found her. Better yet, you can leave her better than you found her by making sure that you have collected all of the trash that you have ever left 
from any and all of your former, quote, hikes into the third dimension. Within this now, you are being called upon to pack out all the trash that has ever been left by anyone who has ever taken a hike into the third dimension. You see, the third dimensional trails are now under construction and will be closed due to road work. Only the members of the Clean Up team are coming to Gaia now. The reason for this is because those who still function under the 3D laws of me first will not be allowed to enter into this ascension game. This ascension game has reached a point of critical shift and will not allow any more of the focus of darkness and or power over other energy fields to play there. These ones who have not yet learned that energy out is energy back or how to live within and share the energy field of unconditional love are being redirected to another third, fourth dimensional planet. Gaia is now under construction to become a fifth dimensional planet. She is happily accepting souls who wish to participate in her reconstruction, but not allow those who wish to have power over others as their birth plan. In fact, even those who have left their residue of darkness on Gaia and wish to transmute that energy will be redirected to the fourth dimensional frequency of, of Gaia, which will remain opened until the construction of the fifth dimensional Gaia is complete. If their fourth dimensional construction of Gaia, in which energy out is instantly returned as energy back, has not been completed by taking their full responsibility for their energy out, they will be redirected to another third dimensional planet. Therefore, as there is less and less negative energy left on Gaia's planetary body by irresponsible humans, Gaia will be able to more easily transmute and rebirth into her fifth dimensional octave of self. In fact, within your now, many higher beings from the galaxy are surrounding Earth and some of the inhabitants of those ships are taking incarnations within an earth vessel. However, because of the long growing up process on earth, most of these higher beings are sharing bodies with humans who have expanded their consciousness into the higher fourth or fifth dimension and can accept the frequency without having to leave their earth vessel. It is for this reason that so many humans are eating better, meditating, exercising, and doing all that is necessary to raise their resonance so that their higher frequency of self can inhabit that form without harming it. Just as only the highest frequency of rocks, which are crystals, can accept and use the higher dimensions of light, only your fifth dimensional body can fully accept and use the highest frequencies of light. Fortunately, your light body is nestled within your kundalini, which is surrounded by your spinal column. If you are aware of your innate light body and aware of the giant crystals within the core of Gaia awaiting the transmutation into higher light, you can capture that higher light within the core of your brain and spinal column and surround it with unconditional love to protect your fragile third dimensional body and send it down through the passageway of your own interdimensional latent light body self into the core crystals of Gaia. But what will this do to our own fragile third dimensional body, we hear you ask. Remember 
The primary operating systems of Gaia's third dimensional body is energy out equals energy back. Therefore, as you offer your own physical body to serve as a passageway for the higher light to enter Gaia's core, that light also enters your core. Just as Gaia's core is already innately fifth dimensional and awaiting the now to transmute into her fifth dimensional light planet, your Kundalini core is innately fifth dimensional and awaiting the now to transmute into your fifth dimensional light body. What you give away shall return to you is the core of Gaia's third dimensional operational rule of cause and effect. Therefore, as you give away the higher light that you have collected within your own earth vessel, it shall return to you from every person, place, situation, and thing to which you have sent it. Oh, the glory of the great harvest, when all the higher light that you have captured and shared returns to you. It is within that now that you will become what you have collected and shared. You will become light.